guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generation Season 2 Part 4. Currently, we are at the um, festival, and it's apparently a fall festival, not a summer festival. But we are here at Kendra Santiago's first, well, I guess technically her second birthday, um, where she's about to magically age up into a kid. Woo! Uh, so pretty much... Here we are, and everybody showed up that I wanted to show up. Here's Snuggles right here. Uh, Justine right here, smiling like a goof. Um, Joseph is somewhere up here, which I definitely want to see him. Here he is. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look how funny he looks. Enjoying himself, clearly. Oh, look at him. Look at the birds chirping in the air, and look at him just here. <laughs> I love it. Um, and there, Luna's here as well. She's somewhere. Um, but actually, over here, we have a pregnant Penelope. She got her very first, like, bump, I guess. Um, pretty much where she just knows she's pregnant. She's not really showing yet. Um, so, yeah, how exciting. That is super exciting. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and do right off the bat is uh, go ahead and put the cake in over here. In this room, we're going to go ahead and place the cake and throw this party. So let's go ahead, put that down. Blow out candles, Kendra Santiago. And uh, actually, let me give the camera to Zane. Oh, Zane's going to actually bring her to the cake. Okay, never mind. Give this to Penelope. Girl, you better run here. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and wait. Look at this little boy just doing his homework. Soaking wet. Just waiting. No, 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 no. Oh, what? Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Justine! No! 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 Stop! Look at Snuggles, all scared. <gasps> Look at everybody. Stop! We're gonna record it though, but stop! Look at Joseph! I am so sad. Look, look at him. He literally has heartache. He literally has heartache. Justine Fenderson has passed on. Old age, whatever, whatever. But what's important is that a full life was lived. I'm so sad. I am so sad. I really am. It was way too soon. Way too soon. Wow. Wow. What a douche. <sighs> but we still have to have Kendra blow the candles out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and come over here and uh, film film Kendra's birthday and we'll definitely be throwing a funeral <laughs> that's for sure um that was just sad definitely sad hold on Kendra's coming give it a second no 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 Penelope was interrupted while taking a video I no I get it. We're having like a little birthday party, but I want you to film it. That's the point of it. I know, I know, Penelope. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. New I'm so one. sad. Just a pug? Wait! Wait! Oh, no! Jeeb. I missed it. <laughs> Come on, anytime now. Alrighty, so due to her modest development, you will not be able to choose her. Alright, whatever. She has developed the no sense of humor trait. Turn your face this way, girl. Turn your face this way. She's like, peek. Ugh, whatever. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a really quick look at Miss Kendra. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. I feel she lo She definitely looks like a uh, Fenderson. I would say. She. I, I don't know. I feel like she looks like a Fenderson, but she almost kind of has... A lot of her dad in her, but I, f I can't tell. Why are you laughing, Luna? What the hell? Alrighty. Um. Wow. I'm. I'm like sad. I'm genuinely sad. I really am. I am so sad. And we're going to try to take a greeting card photo with everybody. Joseph just went home. He just went home. I told you guys what I was actually going to do. I was going to have Joseph move in with us because but we have no room. I don't know. I thought we had more time. I thought we had more time. I'll have to figure it out for the next part. And there will be a funeral. There will be all of that. Just wow. Cool, we got a, a photo with the fams. We're also going to go ahead and ride the roller coaster. Um, with the, I think we shall ride it with maybe Kendra. Um, yeah. They say pregnant ladies aren't supposed to ride roller coasters, but not my Sims. My Sims do it all. I'm really sad. Look at them. I want to get a picture of them here at the top. Right there. That's what I want. <laughs> I love her. Look at this one. Look at this one. Okay. Photo. My photos just ruin the moment. Always. Oh, there's about to be like a... Oh, another like little hill. Cute, cute, cute. We'll have to come back and uh, ride this one right here with the water piece. That one would be fun. But we're going to go ahead and head home since it's raining. Um, but yeah, super sad. But also a good day because Kendra's birthday. But wow. Just Wow. Okay, um, let's see, are we available to throw, I know you can throw funerals, like, for those who don't know that, you can definitely throw funerals, but I don't know if we can throw it, um, because we're not, like, in the household. No, I don't think we can. We'll invite over the family, and we'll go get her, um, we'll go get her urn. And kind of throw our own funeral, I guess. In a way, in a sense. Maybe if we go collect her... I don't know if that would work. 
But I was thinking maybe if we go collect her remains, we could maybe throw it. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna come here really quickly. I'm, I'm pretty sure it would, her remains would be here. Maybe Joseph has them, I'm not sure. Um, but let's see. Who is this? Justine Fenderson. There we go. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and head home. She's in such a bad mood. She's going to eat those. Yeah, go ahead and eat those strawberries. Is she no? Okay. Yeah, she's just really tired, so she's going to head home. All right, now I want to see if I can throw a funeral. I don't think I can. I really wish I could if I could throw, like, a legit funeral. That'd be awesome. Let me see. Still can't. Hmm. I'll do a little bit more research on it. We'll definitely throw something for her. Okay. So what we're actually going to go ahead and do is come up here to Kendra's bedroom and uh, sell the baby stuff, um, which we'll be back shortly. I sh yeah, you know what? I will keep it for the most part. <laughs> I'm just going to move it there for now in case we have like another girl. We can totally use that. Um, and we're just going to give her a bed, which is going to be hard to fit in here. Remove her side table to like right. Hold on, let's go ahead and put that there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we need storage. Um, can we put a crib out here for now? Yeah, we'll just move the crib there. Um, and that there for now. We'll just, we'll just sell some stuff, I, I suppose. It can save us some good money, though. If we don't. I'll just move it like that for now. And as for her bed, we'll actually just recolor something really quickly. Recolor this. Throw that on her bed. And this can be... <coughs> Her pillow doesn't need to be... Okay, her sheets don't need to be... Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's go ahead and lighten that a little bit. And this... Her pillow doesn't need to be wood. We're going to make it sheets like that. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now she can actually go to sleep. But first, let's go ahead and give her a makeover. Let's change her appearance. So I'm going to really quickly change Kendra's appearance and I will come right back. Alrighty, so the hair I went ahead and put on her, these really cute braids, her little pigtail side braids. I don't even know what to call this. I don't know. But they're super cute and her hair like magically grew a little bit. I don't know. I think she's a cutie patootie with no booty. So yeah, that is uh, Kendra Santiago. Alrighty, so... Good morning, I guess, kind of. Um, I'm just going to insert the clip of, well, record. Um, Kendra going to her first day of school. She's brushing her teeth, getting ready, looking super cute. Wearing her outerwear. I don't know why she has her little, she does, oh, there we go. We definitely need to change her outfit. But there she goes to her first day of school. This hair, I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. I might look for something else. Um, but here she goes. Her first day. I'm gonna get like a little picture of her in there. And on her first day of school, okay, that bus literally just ran into us. We're gonna have her meet some new friends. Uh, Zane's about to head off to work, so I'm actually going to go ahead and skip until, um, you know, Penelope's awake and ready to do whatever. Alrighty, so what we're actually gonna go ahead and do today is head back over to the Fenderson uh, household, if anybody's home actually. Um,. Nobody is. Oh, Luna is out at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and actually, I, I guess we should call Joseph up and um, invite him out so we can talk to him at least. You know what I mean? Um, so let's go ahead and invite him to the coffee house. 
hopefully he'll meet up with us hopefully he's not busy sure that sounds like fun let's meet there okay awesome so we are going to go ahead and uh, head to the coffee house to talk to Joseph and just, you know, kind of cheer him up because he's probably taking this really, really hard. Um, so let's go ahead and head out. We definitely need to get a new, a new umbrella. <laughs> that looks horrible. Kendra Santiago has met Joshua, Joshua Gilbert at school. Awesome. Cute, cute, cute. All right, Penelope has been sent a dresser. Cool, for being a celebrity. We're not really a celebrity, but thanks. All right, here comes Mr. Joseph. No, no, Mr. Joseph. We came here just to see you. Do you have a gift on us? I don't think we do. We'll give him a book. No, no, we won't give him a gift. We will announce our pregnancy. That's exciting. Uh, console him. Cheer him up. He's like, really? I'm going to be a grandpa again? Oh, I'm literally done. I'm literally, I'm literally done. Joseph is passing away. I'm so done. I'm so done. Poor Penelope. I'm just going to let her cry this one out. Look at him shaking the Grim Reaper's hand like he was ready. Wow. This group outing absolutely without any doubt could have ended much, much, much better. I really need to go take care of some things. That's oh, oh my gosh. That is oh. I'm literally this this part has me distraught. I don't even I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. This is just a crazy freaking part. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to bring them back from the dead. It is too soon for them to go. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Should I bring them back? I really feel like I should. All right. We're just going to get some herbal tea. Try to calm down a little bit. Or not. Just going to try to calm down. Look, she, she didn't even do it. She didn't even drink it. Just head home, Penelope. You poor freaking thing. You poor thing. Actually, she has to head to the graveyard again. Again. Manage the dead for the second day in a row. The second freaking day in a row. My poor baby. She doesn't deserve to deal with this. They don't deserve to die. Not yet. <laughs> it's too soon. Oh my goodness. We definitely need to talk to Luna and them. Get really close with them. Joseph Anderson. Let's go ahead and head home now. Clearly, it's been a horrible, horrible two days for the whole family. Horrible. 
Peaches would like to come out and play. Maybe Kendra should let Peaches out. Maybe. Maybe not. But, um, wow. What a horrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. We're going to go ahead and put them in the backyard for now. Oh, I can't put them there. Where can I put them? I could put them next to Buster, maybe? No. No. I don't know where to put them yet. Damn it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep them in our inventory for now. And then we're probably going to get, you know, some nice showcase thing so we can I don't know you can do whatever but we're actually gonna watch a home movie we're gonna watch home movie number five shall we shall we we shall all right let's go ahead and watch it that's of Justine stop watch number seven. Oh my gosh it's of justine too what about number six? Oh, there's a cute one let's watch number eight this one should be cool for uh kendra to watch look how old she looks it's crazy She was like, how was your first day of school? She smiled. She liked it. Hmm. We're going to request her to feel our tummy. Or not. Okay, guys. This part's been absolutely hectic. Um, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, I definitely need to get Jay into the game because I feel like it's a time for the family to be together. And if, um, you know, if Justine and Joseph aren't here, then I definitely want Luna and all of them to be super close. You know what I mean? Like super, super close. Um, so, yeah. I guess I will see you guys in the next part, all right? I'll see you guys all then. Bye, guys.